It's been a while since I've checked in with the crew and giving you all an update on the gaming journey. So here I am, let's get into it. Gaming has impacted my life so heavily that the minute I started my gaming journey, I knew I wanted to be more involved in the gaming industry. So with that said, I quit my job and I quit my job and got a job in tech. So eight months later, here we are. I have finally accepted a role within tech, an industry I know nothing about. And I think although it's not gaming, it definitely complements gaming and the gaming industry. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I I'm so excited for the future because I, although I'm not in gaming and I don't know if I ever will work in gaming, gaming actually has led me to this new opportunity in the tech world. And I'm so excited to see what tech has to offer because, oh my God, good things are coming. It's kind of weird because the gaming industry is a multi, multi-billion dollar industry. It's global, it's worldwide and everyone in Australia games yet there's not much of an industry in gaming within Australia. I don't know if that's the same for how it is in your country or if it's actually just a difficult industry to enter no matter what. But um, yeah, it's been a massive learning curve and either way it's been a blessing because now I'm entering into tech, which is gonna be awesome and could potentially lead me to gaming one day. But if it doesn't, I'm sure tech's gonna be awesome anyway. Hey, it's Steffi, your co-captain, and welcome to another week of being a tech warrior and space cowboy. This means a big week of fighting portal wars and chair twirling. Last thing I want to share with you guys is my current setup. Now, my current setup is not ideal. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. I probably give it a four out of 10, but I don't hate it. I have enough room. It works for my space. Um, I wouldn't mind hiding half the cords, but I don't think I can do that. But either way, it's fine. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about when I show you my setup. So my setup is really simple. We have the, oh, I've forgotten what this is called. The internet thing, far out. Anyway, I have this thing <laughs> and then just a big long white table, massive mouse pad. It is dirty, of course, because I'm a grub and I eat. Keyboard, mouse, screen and camera to record and hopefully stream soon. I have my little panda. Panda is wearing the cord for the Xbox. It's not plugged in, but it's just easily accessible right next to my PC. And my PC is actually on this side. I, I find it so annoying that I can't see into my PC. I, I think I might eventually upgrade uh, that glass or change the glass to something a bit more visible because I can't, you know, you can't really see what's going on in there. Um, and this is where it gets all, all a bit messy. So as you can see, the cords are all exposed and I've actually got my PC facing that way instead of that way. Um, a couple of reasons, <laughs> oh, a couple of reasons, but essentially long story short, it's not comfortable for me to have the PC on this side because I have headphones with a cord, it doesn't actually reach. So if I do put it on this side and face it the other way, um, it essentially like the cord comes across me this way. Anyway, this is the best I could do with my current setup. I actually don't hate having all of this exposed. Um, it is what it is. Um, I'll eventually tidy it all up. And just underneath, the cord management isn't great. It's literally going everywhere. And I have relatively long legs. So what I end up doing is when I do end up sitting and getting being all tucked in, as soon as I kick my shoes off, I often unplug these. <laughs> so I'll eventually have to tidy up everything. But for now, for a non-gamer, it's it's pretty cute setup. So yeah 
thought I'd keep you guys informed. Along with being a full-time tech expert, I'm also a full-time space cowboy. Look at my space cowboy spin and my cute space outfit. So do you recall earlier on in the video how I said my mouse pad was absolutely gross because I continuously eat while I play or I continuously eat while I game or whatever I'm doing. It's because this is the exact reason. I ate so much while I'm at my desk. Mm. Excuse the mouthful, but always bloody eating. Just sitting at my PC eating <laughs> um, but also trying to figure out how to download and correctly install a specific game the game that I'm specifically talking about a way out so I don't know if you guys have played this game it's a co-op game but I'm trying to figure out how you need to download it. I know one person downloads it and then you get a coupon. Um, but yeah, uh, again, games, downloading games are hard, but worth the struggle and worth taking the time to figure out how to bloody download and install games because they're so much fun when you do get to play them. In other news, this is Luffy guys. I got two little kitties and this is one of them and she's she's a gaming cat herself. She loves to play games with me. She's so cuddly. Um, I'm, I've been playing games. I haven't been uploading the games because I've been bloody busy. I know that's not an excuse, but I have a massive backlog of gameplay. Look, she just sits there with me. How cute. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm still playing Tomb Raider. I haven't bloody finished it yet, but I will. I've been playing other games in the interim, so I'll put a link to uh, the first video of that entire series in the bio below, so check that out. I haven't finished it, I will finish it, um, but I've got a whole bunch of other games that I've got to upload and share with all of you guys. Link in the bio to this. Oh, and there's Lala. Don't eat my food, Lala. <laughs> She's so cute. Link into the bio to the start of the series of Tomb Raider, which I will eventually finish. Lala, you little Tomb Raider kitty. She's literally the cutest little PC kitty. Look at her. Oh, she literally sits there all day with me. I like game.